Breastfeeding is an important part of a newborn's diet from its first day of birth to the sixth month. Lucy Enya has been living with HIV and AIDS for the past 18 years, and she was not so confident when she had to exclusively breastfeed her three children. There's no rightful information. Even the doctors are not aware. The PAWGs are not aware. You're thinking, how am I going to survive? Now, how am I going to have children that will be HIV free? When I had my first child, it wasn't easy. It takes like 18 months for you to know your HIV, the child uh, status. So I, was going, I went through uh, trauma and um, psychological trauma for a good 18 months, waiting worried and fears and as I as I eat every day how is this child God am I going to harm this child you know it was a big problem but I thank God today now is almost 15 years and is HIV negative as a mentor to mothers living with the disease she says the constant counseling encouragement and tests remain key to getting mothers to breastfeed exclusively if a woman is in aware of her HIV status she and she's fully well informed she will be able to know the options to take because the, the it is uh, advised by WHO that a woman a woman that is HIV positive should they have their own guidelines she should be cancelled on which option Stella Ebe's story is no different she has six children and all have been breastfed exclusively as a woman living with HIV when you practice exclusive breastfeeding is very very good you see that child very sound the child will not be exposed to HIV. That child will remain negative. The mother will remain healthy. Then the breastfeeding serves as a nutritional support to that child. She remains confident in the processes involved in making sure that women living with HIV also have options. It's for you to tell that woman that other people have done it and they can do it. Then if the woman said no, I don't want to breastfeed, is that woman's choice? At least she can go on what? Baby, uh, baby milk, infant formula. Then you also tell the person that about the infant formula, how affordable, there is what we call AFAS, how affordable, visible, safe, and sustainable. Stakeholders are advocating for exclusively breastfeeding, even when the mothers are skeptical. The virus is also in breast milk. And so then this woman was faced with a lot of dilemma. Should I give my child this breast milk that has this virus? How am I sure I'm not directly passing this virus to my child? We have challenges where a woman that had decided not to breastfeed and because of the issue of stigma and discrimination comes, the in-laws comes to visit and she's not breastfeeding and the woman goes like, why are you not breastfeeding my baby? You this my daughter-in-law, what is the problem? You know, all kind of pouring insult on her and because of the fear, she will now drink giving that child that breast. When the woman is not there, she will not breastfeed. Already, you're already endangering the child's health. Mothers living with the HIV virus are still encouraged to breastfeed their babies under strict medical measures. With the advance of good, you know, um, the advent of the antiretroviral drugs, now, the viral load is able to be suppressed by these drugs you know, to a very, very minimal level or even a level of non-significance that this woman can comfortably breastfeed her baby. Nigeria has made little progress from 2004 when the breastfeeding rate was at 14%. 11 years later, breastfeeding rate stands at 17%, which is still very low. But the projection after this year's World Breastfeeding Week is to get up to 50% within the next four years. Kemi Balogun, TVC News, Abuja.